Today, I'm going to demonstrate the bulk tag publish feature of the OAS configuration tool. We are going to look at how to bulk publish to Azure IoT, AWS IoT, and to an MQTT broker. We can send all of the tags to one topic or break them up into individual topics. We will look at both methods today. The first thing you need to do is set up your tags in OIS. Open Automation Software supports tags from many data sources, including Allen Bradley, Modbus, Siemens, OPC UA, OPC DA, MQTT, MT Connect, Opto22, and more. What you see here in my configuration are the demo tags that load with the OAS demo software and a couple of other tags that I have added myself. Next, we need to configure a driver. I am going to start with Azure. Go to Configure Drivers from the top menu. I will call this one Azure. In the Driver dropdown, I will select Azure IoT. Then we need to enter in three fields, Azure IoT Device ID, Azure IoT Connection, and the Azure IoT Hub URL. Yours will be different than mine, and you can find them on your Azure dashboard. I want to point out this checkbox for Enable Store and Forward. If you enable this, it will buffer the data in the case of a communication failure. Then, it will send the data out when the communication is restored. Under the Configure Options menu on the Store and Forward tab, you can choose which directory you would like to store the buffered data. You can also set a limit on the amount of time that data will be buffered. This is a great feature that prevents data loss. Next, at the bottom of the interface, we are going to check the box for Publish Selected Tags. This will enable a whole new group of controls for the bulk tag publish. Down below, we will choose a list of tags we would like to publish. But first, let's start by looking at the Publish settings. The first is a drop-down for Publish Type. With this, you can set the Publish to be event-driven, and you are prompted to select a trigger tag to kick it off. There is also specific time of day, and you would enter it here to have your bulk publish occur daily at that specified time. The default is continuous, and you specify the published interval in seconds below. I'm going to leave it at this 10 second rate for now. Let's look at the checkboxes here. Publish latest value only, when checked, will publish only the most recent value of the tag, even if the update rate for the tag is faster than the published interval. So if your tag has changed its value five times, during the 10 second publish interval, it will only send one value, the latest. If we uncheck it, it will send all of the values of the tags since the last publish. Include all tags in each publish. If this is checked, it will send all of the tags at each publish interval, regardless of whether or not they have changed values. Unchecked, it will publish only tags that have changed value. The next box, publish all tags in one topic. If this is checked, it will send all of the tags that we select in one topic. The JSON packet will include tag ID, value, quality, and timestamp. You have the option to change the key names for those here. You can also uncheck include quality and include timestamp if you don't want to include those. There is a timestamp dropdown to change the timestamp format. It defaults to ISO 8601. There is also Unix time in seconds or milliseconds, ticks, which are equivalent to 100 nanoseconds, and custom, where you can specify your own format. Now, let's select our tags. I will click the Add button, and it opens up a tag browser. Tags can come from a local or a remote instance of OAS, and you would specify that here under the network node. I'm going to choose this ramp tag here. In the ID field, you can leave it as the full tag and variable path, or you can change it to something else. I will just change this to ramp. Then I will grab another tag, this random tag, and one more. Let's also add sign. Now we have three tags for our bulk publish.
you want to add a large amount of tags, you can do this easily with the CSV import and export buttons on the toolbar here. You would export out an existing tag list, make changes to it to include all of your tags, and then import it back in. I am going to add the driver to the service now, and it will begin publishing. Let's switch over to Visual Studio Code, and we can watch the tags as they are published to Azure. I have my OAS IoT device configured here already, and I will click the ellipse to start monitoring the built-in endpoint. We can see here in the console that the data is flowing into Azure. In the header of each message, we have our device ID and topic, OAS underscore tags, followed by our array of tags. Each tag has the key value pairs of ID, value, quality, and timestamp. We can see that they are publishing at that 10 second interval we set. Now let's clear this window and go back and change our settings. I'm going to uncheck publish latest value so that we will get all of the tag changes since the last publish. I'm going to change our publish interval to 6 seconds. Currently, all the tags have a simulation rate of 1 second. Let's switch the random to 3 seconds. Set this way, we should see some differences in our output. I'm going to apply the changes. Let's jump back over to Visual Studio Code and see what happened. Now we are getting multiple value changes with each publish. They are listed out here in chronological order. We have more ramp and sign in each publish because their values are changing more frequently than the random tag. Now let's try something else. Let's uncheck publish all tags as one topic and recheck publish latest value only. I am going to set the simulation rate for the random tag back to one second. I will apply the changes and let's take a look. Now we can see that every six seconds we are getting a publish and each tag is coming in separately. Okay, let's look at one more setting. I'm going to change my random tag to have a data source of value so that it won't change. I'm going to check publish all tags as one topic again. We have published latest value only checked. With it set this way, we should only get our random tag in the first publish. Let's apply our changes and go see. We can see that's exactly what happened. If we had included all tags in each publish, it would send the random tag each time despite its value not changing. You can find step-by-step -step instructions for doing this on our knowledge base under Data Destinations, Azure IoT, Getting Started Azure IoT. Next, we are going to do our bulk publish to the AWS IoT Gateway. I will switch my driver type to AWS IoT Gateway and call this one AWS. I will enter in my credentials, including private key, certificate path, and IoT endpoint. Again, yours will be different than mine. I will publish the latest value only to one topic at the same 10 second interval, my three tags, ramp, random, and sign. I will add this new driver to the service and off we go. Switching over to my browser, I am logged into my AWS account and on the MQTT test client page. Under subscribe to topic, I will enter OAS underscore tags, the topic we specified, and click subscribe. As we watch, we can see our topic with the three tags coming in. Super simple. Of course, we can make all of the same adjustments to how the data is sent as we did with Azure, but you can try that out on your own. You can find step-by-step -step instructions for doing this on our knowledge base under Data Destinations, AWS IoT Gateway, Publish Data to AWS IoT. Finally, let's look at doing our bulk publish to an MQTT broker. OAS can be both an MQTT broker and an MQTT client. For the bulk publish, we will use OAS as an MQTT broker. I'm going to put in my local IP address here because I have the OAS broker on my own machine. You would enter the credentials for whatever MQTT broker you are publishing to. Down here 
in the bulk publish settings, I am going to uncheck publish all tags as one topic. I will make the publish interval just zero seconds. By doing this, it will publish every time the tag value updates. So let's go over to our ramp tag and set its simulation rate to 0.1 seconds. I will add this new driver to the service and then we can go over and set up our MQTT client. This is MQTT Explorer. You can download a free copy of it from their website, mqtt-explorer.com. In the host name, I will enter the address of my broker, in this case, localhost. Then I will click Advanced to add my topics. I will enter in my ramp, sign, and random separately. Please note that these are case sensitive. I'll click back. We can now see that they are all being published and our RAM tag is coming in at that much faster rate. If we wanted to, we could check the publish all tags to one topic checkbox and subscribe to OAS underscore tags instead. Again, super simple. You can find step-by-step -step instructions for doing this on our knowledge base under data sources, MQTT, getting started, MQTT. This is a good time for me to point out the save button on the toolbar of the OAS configuration tool. When you are done setting up your drivers, you will want to click save to save the configuration file for your drivers and tags. It will prompt you for a location and then it will ask you if you want to set the file as the default configuration on startup. Under the Configure Options menu in the Default File tabs are options for you to specify a default configuration file to load when the service starts. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have a better understanding of the OAS Bulk Publish feature. If you have additional questions, please feel free to contact us via support at oasiot.com. Bye!